All right, hello guys. Welcome to another video. Today we are on the GOM because I try to record on the park, but it's early, so there's like 50 people on. So I wasn't getting any games filled. So we're gonna play a little bit of GOM. Uh, I'm just gonna ramble, cut it in bits, and get kicked because I'm not premium. Today I wanted to talk about a new project that I'm working on, which is called Venix. I am now a part owner. It all happened really fast. Uh, one day I got asked to do paid promotion on their server. I was like, well, I don't really do those. And I find it awkward to, I don't know, like be biased because I get paid and that kind of stuff. That didn't really work out. And then I was like, well, I've always find it interesting to, to start their own server. A lot of people always ask me, do you want to do that? Why not do this together? Oh, no, you can't do this. I just comboed a kid. Fuck. I went to them and I was like, yo, I don't really want to do pay promotion, but uh, why not just make me owner? And they were like, sure. Let's start with the current state of the network. The server has been live for about almost a month. And so far they've already had 500 man fill. That is not bad at all. What do I want to do with Venix? I have missed the days of Bad Lion or Reddit where you would go one piece of zero zero or even two piece and you would be mildly stacked. That you could go to the border and full diamond would be OP. You get the drift. There is way too many x rays I think they ruined the game thus much that, oh, I got the rod straight on the third bar. Perfect. There we go. Whew. Chill, dude. Chill. I kind of need your help. I need your input. So how can you reduce hackers on a server? There's a few ways. You can have anti-cheat, such like anti-x-ray, or just a war dog. Watchdog, sorry. You can have watchdog, a great thing. You can have g-cheat, they all work. Uh, however, it only limits x-rays in a way that you need a, f uh, a certain bypass, and it only limits cheaters because you need to not be too blatant with it. In that sense, it stops hackers, but for devoted people, you know, they just get the right bypass and whoop, they're back to hacking. Anti-cheat works, but it's more like a filter. It only filters some people out, some people it doesn't. Then you can make it that uh, you are very strict with banning. Let's say there's a hacker. He's always on a horse with a saddle because he x-rays his tits off. Uh, the second he gets banned, he plays on his alt. And when that one gets banned, he just waits for his main account to get unbanned and he plays on that. And you have this cycle of constantly x-raying on your alt until your other account gets unbanned. So you could be stricter. However, the problem with that is that a lot of people have good routers where they can just change their IP. Uh, and whenever they get IP banned, because they get two or three bans, uh, they just hop on a new account, new IP, because of these old services that even YouTubers promote that basically ruin their own, the service they play on. Really good video from uh, my dozer. I got a little bit mad at Jake when he posted his video about it, uh, but I didn't want to make a big deal about it. But alt services like that, where you can buy 50 cent alt, you change your IP and boom, you're back to hacking. You can make a system that you can only play uh, after you've spent a certain amount of hours on the UHC, or you can make it that you need a phone verification or any kind of sense of making it harder to get in it. Fucking any kind of sense of making it harder to get in a game. Now the problem with that is that you cut in your player base. New players are not going to be willing to do that, are going to be willing to just sit AFK on the server for 20 minutes or for 20 hours or whatever kind of bar you want to set. And you, you kind of are just hurting yourself. You can also make it pay to play. This way if somebody pays, you, whenever they get banned, they lose money. So they're not going to be willing to be hacking because they're basically hurting themselves. Now, the problem with that is, is that Bycraft doesn't really help you very much with chargebacks. So if you do this kind of system, people are just going to hack, they get banned, and then just charge back the money that they donated to play. These are all the systems to limit hackers, and all of them kind of work, but all of them don't work at all either. And that, that is the problem that we are facing right now is that, that there's nothing that really works. It's not a single server that's legit. And I think the best way to do it is a combination. Hey bud. 
Linda sorgt. Linda plays. Woo! Linda got a good fight. Jeez, calm down, Linda. Well, I think the best way to do it, or to have a server that has no extras on this, but this is gonna sound scummy. Everyone's gonna call me out for, hey, you're doing it for the money, you're doing it for whatever. I am willing to make a server, pay to play, make it public how much we earn, and pledge that all on charity. I'm serious. All I want is a server where I can play, I can go one piece of zero zero and not be under geared. A game where there's no x-rays. You can't think of that. There's there's nothing about there's it's not out there. How do I think I can achieve this? I think the best way to do it is make it pay to play, be very strict on hackers, uh, as in one ban is for a year, we don't allow you to ban evade. If you want to appeal, or if you want to say like, yo, I x-rayed, I'm sorry, you get unbanned in like f in four months, but don't allow any kind of evading. This way, the thing is, you need to find a, a donating system in which you can't charge back. Implementing a way of donating without charging back, this way people, whenever they do get banned, they actually lose their money, making it that being harsh on hackers, so there's a risk for players to hack, so they're not gonna do it as much, and when they do hack, they lose money, so they only fuck over themselves. Uh, I think, could make a server semi-legit, and I wanna go that way with Phoenix, but I'm kinda scared that everyone's just gonna call me money hungry, or a bit, or whatever, and we're just gonna get all this bullshit, so I don't know how to approach this. Leave my, th leave your thoughts, uh, discuss with me. I'm not saying that we're implementing this. I'm just saying that I would want to do that. So um, Yeah, tell me. I'll see you guys later. Peace